Hi, Terry here from Stamping Magic. Welcome back to my channel. Today's project is this wonderful card. It's a diamond easel card and it will fit into an envelope for a six inch square card. Now this is what it looks like fully opened. Inside you've got a lovely large mat where you can write your message. I've used the prized peony stamp set together with the peony dies and I've also used some of the peony garden papers. Now the orange paper comes from our retired gingham gala paper pack which I'm still trying to use up. Now although the card will fit into an envelope I recommend that you make a box for it and I'll leave a link at the top of the screen to a video showing you how to do this. So let's get started. These are all the measurements you need for all the elements required to create this project. So if you're interested in reproducing it, take a screenshot so you can refer to it later. To create this card, your card base needs to measure 12 inches by 6 inches. Now you can either cut a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock in half to give you this, or you can create your own card base from your standard A4 or 8.5 by 11 sheets. I'm using grey granite card and I've cut one to measure 6.5 inches by 6 inches and the other measures 6 inches by 6 inches. You just want to score the larger one at 6 inches to give you a half inch tab on one side. I'm now going to notch either end of that half inch tab and then I can fold on the score line and burnish it with my bone folder. I can then join the two pieces together by applying glue to that half inch tab and placing the other piece on top of it. And then my card base is ready. When I build my card I want to hide that half inch tab underneath the panel that I'm going to use for writing the message so it's on the top. If I positioned it so it was on the bottom it would show more which is not what I want at all. So to do this you want to make sure that the tab is facing towards the left hand side and then I'm going to score the card on that side at three inches. Then I'll turn my cardstock and mark each short side at three inches just by pressing the stylus into the cardstock at that point. Then on the long side I'm also going to mark the panel that hasn't been scored at three inches. So this means that all my sides have a mark at three inches either by a score line or by a press mark. I now need to cut the points for my diamond. I'll do this by cutting from the three inch points on the long sides to the three inch point on the short side. I'm going to use a guillotine to do this but you could just as easily use your trimmer. And I'm just lining up the two points with the blade and then I can make my cuts. I can now fold on the score line and burnish it with my bone folder. I'll then finish my card base by adding the diamond panel to the front. Now to do this you just want to add glue to the front triangle section. I can then position my additional square panel on top of this, just lining up those front edges. And that's my card base complete. I just need to decorate now. This is the prized peony stamp set. I'll be using the largest image and the smallest image. And then the sentiment comes from the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. I'll be starting with grey granite ink and I'm going to stamp the panel where you'll write your message. 
and I'm just going to stamp this in both of the bottom corners. Then I'm going to stamp the larger image and I'm just stamping onto some normal weight Whisper White card. I'll stamp my sentiment using Versamark ink onto a scrap of petal pink cardstock and then cover with white embossing powder before heat setting this with my heat gun. The large flower will be die cut using one of the peony dies and for the sentiment I'm using one of the stitched shapes circle dies, this is the smallest one. I've also die cut two white mats and I use dies from the Hippo and Friends die set for this, the largest one in this grouping and also the smallest one. These mats were then embossed using the Dainty Diamonds 3D embossing folder. I'm going to create mats to go underneath each of these and I'm using grey granite cardstock and I'm just going to glue them into position first of all. Then I can cut around the white mat with scissors and I'm just going to leave a border of about a sixteenth of an inch or a couple of millimetres and I'll do this with both pieces. I've gone ahead and added dimensionals to the reverse of both of these mats and also to my flower and the sentiment panel. I need to create two triangular panels for the inside of my card and I'm going to do this just by cutting the square of designer series paper and the square of petal pink card in half diagonally. I now have all the panels prepared and I need to layer them up onto petal pink cardstock. So I've got my front panel, my base panel, 
my two triangular panels, my message panel and my back panel and these need to be layered onto their respective petal pink mats. And once they've been done, they need to be added to the card base. For this card I've decided to add a little bow onto the stem of the flower and I'm just using some of our grey granite shimmer ribbon for this. I've made a little bunny ear bow and I'm just adjusting the size to make it as small as I can then I can trim off the ends. I'm going to attach this using a couple of mini glue dots. As a finishing touch, I'm going to add some of our elegant faceted gems. Now these come in white, clear and petal pink and I'm just going to use a few of the, of the petal pink ones. And that's it, my card is now complete. A very pretty card, I think. The papers are absolutely beautiful and so are the images. And this is how it looks fully open. And you've got that lovely large message panel. And then here's another look at my original card. Now the flower I coloured in Calypso Coral, although the paper is actually in Grapefruit Grove, but it's close enough that it didn't matter. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye for now.